Springs of Florida, North Florida Springs, bring out the vibrant colors. And I also painted some palette knives, and I'm having a great day. Just the sunny weather, beautiful people, people from all over Florida come here. They great. left. They left South Florida, moved up to the Gainesville area. Now I've been doing a show for about six years in a row now. What makes you want to keep coming back to it? Look at it, it's fantastic. It's really one of the uh, top uh, 100 shows in, in the country. It's rated in the top 100 and there are the thousands throughout the whole country. So this is just really amazing that a small town like ours has such a quality show. Yeah, the sales are excellent and, and the support from the public is really, really nice. Well, this painting, for example, is called Peace. Um, there is a dove of peace with an olive branch in its mouth and it's flying over the, uh, the city of Jerusalem and I kind of figured if I painted peace maybe we would have it. I love the show. It's uh, probably one of my favorites. Um, I'm from Gainesville so um, it's probably one of my favorites. I love the way Linda Piper puts on the show and uh, the way the interns treat um, the artist. It's just fantastic. I just I like the atmosphere. We've got um, the music and the dancing and stuff in the background. It's just a festive mood on top of the Minnan Art Show. This is my, my tenth year and uh, I always had good following here. Most of my clients are repeat customers. I see these mostly younger women go through college, graduate, become successful. And when they become successful, they even buy more of my pictures. And then they bring their husbands. I love this festival and also I'd like to say for all the people who are cleaning this festival after after the show between Friday night and Saturday night, it's fantastic. This is one of the cleanest festivals I've ever seen. One of the festival's unique features is the Imagination Station, a children's art activity area put on by the University of Florida's Art and Education Department. Um, we make puppets. Um, I'm an art education student and they, we do this every year, um, so it's one of my classes. It's great, there's lots of fun things for them to do. We're having a good time. Oh, it's always a lot of fun and last year we saw there were things for kids and we didn't bring them, so we wanted to make sure to do that this year. <laughs> We've got we got the uh, the three year olds actually did the Starry Night up in the front, so we're doing a good job. <laughs> we're having fun. How long have you been working on this? Um, since uh, nine thirty maybe nine thirty ten, a couple hours, a few hours. Four diamonds on the table. Now watch the magician because he's going to come to life for you. What's your favorite thing about this? This being out here so the kids can be in different kind of activities, learn about art, and then experience and learn while well as have a fun time. We are going to be feeding all the artists. That's a total of 284 box lunches. It's 10:30 and the box lunches have just arrived. Yes, and we're about to, all the interns get together and they split up the event and we give out the box lunches to all the artists, free of charge. It takes a long time and it's like, you know, hot and people want vegetarians, so you have to run back and then you have to run back and get all the lunches when you run out and then you have to give water and you have to give it to like 150 people and it's a big job, but uh, we do it again tomorrow, so you know.
had bloomin' onion, we had some kebabs, kebabs from the Chinese. Some arepas. Oh, some arepas. Um, what else did we have? It was tasty. Festival's been great. We've had a good turnout. We've been doing uh, karaoke for kids here and prize reel for prizes and lots of people coming up. And uh, you know, I come here every year. I live downtown, um, so it's been great. Well, we were happy to, to be here at the uh, 24th Annual Art Festival because you know, the, the Gainesville is doing a lot of great things in their community. And, and you know, Cabot is a perfect, uh, perfect addition to. Uh, all American city, so we were happy to be here to support uh, support what Gainesville's doing here. We got here this morning at nine o'clock, and so far we've sold about ten subscriptions to each magazine, Guardian and Gainesville Sun. And people have just come by, picked up literature, picked up newspapers, and so we're, we're glad that people are interested in reading. It's great. We've had a lot of interest. Um, so many young families here looking at our sport utilities and of course our high-end cars. People here are spending money here and looking at all this art. This is a natural for them. But uh, a lot of interest. You know, something different for them to see and it's uh, interactive. It gets them a chance to take a look at the product without the pressure of a car dealership. So I'm sure they, they enjoy that quite a bit. Well, what we're doing is we are coming out and we're making ourselves visible out here at the Arts Festival. And just passing out balloons and water and stickers and saying hello before going to the festival. Uh, we, we had a great day over here. We, uh, we were able to tell a lot of people about the lottery and about how we help education. And uh, the crowd was, uh, there was a lot of people and uh, the sales, sales were decent. And uh, Gainesville Arts Festival is always one of our favorite promotions, one of our favorite events. Well, we certainly are a sponsor every year because we feel like this is an integral part of the community. This festival is something that people look forward to each year, and we look forward to it even as a sponsor. We look forward to coming out and seeing all the people and being a part of the community. Oh, we have a community that's rich in culture. We have a lot of artisans here, and I don't know, we just really enjoy being here. Yeah, so we're doing this for Recycling Day. There, um... We're just volunteers working, just going throughout the festival, just saying like, do you guys want to recycle and just to like make people more aware and educate them. I mean, this is one of the highest visibility events in Gainesville, um, so it's always great to be down here. Tara, Aja. That's great. Today was a good day. Um, it's been a long day, but I think everyone had a good time. All the artists were really good, no huge complaints really, no disasters. Um, I think everyone has successful as far as their business went. Um, yeah, good day overall.